Tuesday today and we are basically just pottering around the house and trying to carry on as normal as we can. I've just had a delivery of a juice cleanse which I ordered before all this happened and I'm still going to go ahead with it because I want to just kind of clean out gut health, vitamins and minerals etc. I'm doing a whole video in about a week or two's time about it so that will all be there. I am about to go food shopping with Sam and this is going to be like our last kind of outing for a couple of weeks and just stock up on the essentials so get like our nut milks and stuff because obviously we don't drink fresh milk because I'm lactose intolerant so Sam. Um, so we need to stock up on like milks and cereals and bits and pieces because we haven't really stocked up and we're running low so we want to just kind of get a few more bits and, and I feel like we need like biscuits and crisps. Do you agree Sam? What? We need like some biscuits and stuff. We like we need we need some snacks. We just do a normal food shop. It's not even like stocking up. But we like, don't we're have not any putting like a stockpile or anything. It's just we every Monday we do a weekly shop anyway. I know it's Tuesday, but we didn't shop. We haven't shopped, so we've got no yeah, food. No, so we need to do literally. a normal food shop, but get enough to last us a week, and then next week we can do another one. Yeah. Without leaving the house, like during this week, rather than keep popping out. So obviously, what we'll you do one for this week's fresh stuff doesn't stay fresh. And then next week, like without oh, leaving yeah, the house this week, so like once a week, like yeah. <laughs> but yeah, social so social distancing. Social distancing. I'm wearing this because obviously Disney is now officially closed. And it made me really sad. So I thought I'd put on some Disney jumpers and stuff to make me feel like I'm kind of still, still partially there. It's there. We're gonna do that. I'm about to have a bagel for breakfast because it's ten o'clock and I haven't actually eaten yet. So I'm gonna have that. I'm just gonna cut to food shopping. I'm gonna start filming some haul videos. So I actually have three that I want to get done. or well, like two, but I have three shops worth, if that makes sense, so like a H&M and Zara, and then like a separate um, Nasty Gal. So I'm gonna get them filmed now because I just wanna do something. Like, you know when you just feel really like mad and you wanna just do something. So I'm gonna film those, and then I've got a couple of campaigns I really quickly need to shoot, and other little bits and pieces. So productivity levels are go. Okay, I obviously can't film wearing this, so much better. <laughs> Okay, we're set up, ready for video two. So I'm actually gonna film my nasty owl haul now. And I've just done the H&M and Zara one. So obviously all will be coming in due time. We're gonna ignore the mess over here. Um, I think I'm gonna film the try on bits tomorrow morning though, because I actually need to pop some fake tan on because my face and my body are a very different color. It doesn't really look it right now, but they're a very, very different color. So I'm gonna tan later and get that done in the morning so that I don't get like tan all over clothes I haven't worn yet, cause that would just be annoying. So yeah, gonna film this one and then film a new look one and maybe another video um i also need to quickly shoot something well shoot two things and then yeah there are a lot of things to do today I'm trying to keep positive and productive and like doing stuff which is very hard when you could just sit on the sofa <laughs> also i know a lot of you are probably going to ask how it is like working from home when your partner also works from home and to be honest i think i'll probably film a video with sam all about like tips for like working from home when you cohabit live with your partner whatever the word is um because we seem to manage quite well but also like we don't tend to sit in the office together if we do it's a very rare occasion and we'll normally both have head both had uh, and we'll normally both have headphones in just so that we can't like communicate because if we're talking we're not getting any work done so right now because i'm filming sam is working in the living room and i'm working up here but sometimes he will be up here as well and we'll just have headphones in and then it's fine and i can't really see him over that computer screen so also a bonus <laughs> It's hit three o'clock and I can't be bothered anymore. I've given up. Well, I haven't given up, but you know, you just, like, I'm one of those people where I could have a task as simple as like putting a box in the bin or like just tidying my desk because currently my desk looks like 
this versus Sam's which was spotless and it will take me like five days to do that because I just put it off and put it off even though it will take me two minutes to do I just put it off because that's the kind of person I am but I need to get this video done so I'm just going to crack on and film it because if I don't I'll be annoyed with myself for not filming it um, but once I've got it done I think I might go and make myself a nice little salad or something because I haven't actually had lunch yet all I've had is a bagel this morning so I'm going to do that so I probably need to eat something and then edit a lot of videos but I might just sit and do edits up here and then just put like the TV on my iMac and edit on my laptop or something so I've got like two things going on because I'm like that I like editing while I've got something else on but um oh, oh, oh. Good morning. I have done my makeup and I've put on some tan which I was meant to do yesterday because I was very very pale like where I haven't tanned in a couple of weeks it was really patchy so I had to scrub it off kind of over a week or so and I've now put it back on so I am nicely bronzed. Can you see my bronze? It looks a bit patchy right now I promise it's not it's just the lighting but I'm just hanging everything back up from yesterday so all of my stuff from the various haul videos and I'm going to film the try on parts of all of the hauls so I've got a lot of clothes to put on there's like two piles and a pile so wish me luck I think I'm just going to stick like Netflix or like Kardashians or something on just while I do it because then I can zone out and I don't need to put sound in or anything it's literally just me standing in the clothes being like oh look at this look at this outfit dressing gown next don't know how much this was it was present but I'm going to try and film it here I just don't know how well that's going to go. I might have to move my chair out of the way and like, I don't know. I normally do it in this bit, but I just think that looks a bit naff. So I'm going to try and do it over there. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, but we'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. My hair is still on top of my head and I have not done it. So this is like, just, I mean, it's not as bad as I thought, but it's very, very like fluffy and dry on the ends at the moment. So what I'm going to do is pop a hair mask on later and then just sleep in it overnight once I film these videos because this is the last kind of bit of work stuff that I need to be in for the foreseeable future. So, well, I mean, not for the foreseeable future, but basically today I'm gonna get all my like facey stuff done in terms of like pictures and videos and like try-ons and stuff. And then I'm gonna edit as much as I can tomorrow and the next day and try and just not put makeup on, not do my hair or anything, just like live in my natural being. I'm gonna try and do it where I film videos one day and then have a relax the next day and edit and stuff so that I'm not constantly wearing makeup and like doing myself up when I don't need to because no one needs that I just missed the side <laughs> I literally just went to go like this and went um yeah no one needs to waste that much makeup so I'm gonna sort my hair now because it is just a bird's nest quite frankly hot I don't even want to count how much stuff this is but I've got to try all of this on and basically what I've done is all of these tops I'm just going to put on with this one pair of jeans and then obviously I've got like different bits to wear with different things and I put all the coats at the end so what I can do is basically put on this with some blue jeans and just like put all of that on um, and then I've got all my dresses here because they're going to go first but this is a lot of stuff so this is going to take a long time it's later on in the day now and Sam is currently cooking us a lovely little risotto over here it's one of his favourite meals so Make it is my favourite meal. That's just not, I don't know if it is my favourite meal. What would your other alternatives be? Burgers. Yeah. Or some sort of seafood. Something cheesy. No. Really? No. That surprises me. Well, I don't eat that much cheese. You love cheese though? No, I don't. Oh. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Or like calamari and like... Truffle. Yeah. But yeah, Sam's making us a pea and ham risotto right now. And like pancetta <laughs> and mushroom. Oh, yummy. That's gonna be so good. Oh. I never used to like risotto. I'm now a converted person. I love it now. But we've also got a key lime pie for dessert and some wine. I look absolutely horrific. Look, this is what I was just saying in my stories. My hair is getting so long. Look at it. And it needs to cut. <laughs> and really, I should have bought a head and had it cut end of last week, but I didn't. So I think I'm gonna have to get a scissors out and just give it a little trim. I think, yeah. Because I think it was where it's quite a little bit. Messy. I can help you around the back again like I normally do. No, I'm fine. Actually, yeah, that'd be fine. I've helped you before and you liked yeah, it. Yeah, fine. Um, I think I'm going to stick a hair mask on tonight. Stop it! <laughs> I'm going to put a hair mask on tonight, I think, because I just feel like I need one. You know, when your hair just feels a bit like. Pff. I might actually go put one on now, to be fair. Can you just listen Yeah, sorry. Just in our isolation with our wine. <laughs> I've got squash, don't know what you're worried about. No, you don't. You have gin. You have gin with strawberry ribena in, so kind of squash, but kind of not. No, it's gin and tonic. Well, gin with elderflower tonic and then a tiny bit of strawberry ribena. Mmm. 
I'm sat on about 70 cushions right now because I want to do a little clip with you. But we're just watching Disney vlogs, aren't we? And catching up on people. I really hope we can go. Like, Me too. I do think we'll be really upset if we can't. I do think we'll be able to though. Like, I feel like by the end of May it should be fine. Hopefully. I hope Hopefully. So. We're keeping all fingers and toes crossed. And I know quite a lot of you are also going around the same time. Like, I've had quite a few people message. So, let's keep fingers crossed, eh? Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? No, it's Thursday. I don't know what day of the week it is anymore. And I've washed my hair this morning and come up to the desk to sit and edit videos because that's the thrilling life I currently lead. But um, I thought I would quickly talk you through what I put on my hair in the morning because a lot of you ask about like hair care routines and stuff. And I thought, what better time than when I'm actually putting all the products in my hair than to talk to you about what I do and what I put in. So as you can see, it's literally just washed. I haven't done anything to it. I have spare of my shampoo and conditioner in this drawer. So I'm gonna show you what I use. So basically when I wash my hair, I normally go in with a purple shampoo and I use this one from Amazon, which is like Fenola or something. And this is basically what my hairdresser uses and he recommended to me. So you literally need the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest amount and you mix it in with your shampoo. So like I put a tiny dollop of that and then put my normal shampoo and like put it through and I apply it mainly to the roots and then like drag my hands down so I'm not like saturating the blonde with purple just in case. And then I use these. So this is the Bondi Boost range, which you may have seen me do an ad for on Instagram, but I love this stuff. Like I have been using this since, I wanna say like dis early December, mid December. So that's what, nearly four months and I'm still on the first bottles. And I think they've still got quite a lot left in them, if I'm honest. And I wash my hair like two, three times a week. So this is my backup set for when that runs out. And basically this is the hair growth range. So Bondo Boost is really, really good. It's vegan, it's cruelty free. And one really cool thing about this product is, <clears throat> sorry, I've like sat and not talked for like an hour. So I'm a bit like, <laughs> one really great thing about these is that they donate to charity for like women's shelters. So it says on here, they're proud to announce its partnership with Metal Women Inc, an organisation employing and supporting women escaping dangerous and violent situations that have led to homelessness, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, they're what I use shampoo and conditioner wise, and then mask wise, I use their, their Miracle Growth Mask, and also Olaplex number no. three, and what I do is, in the evening, or like 20 minutes before my shower, depending on like when I wash my hair, because sometimes it's morning, sometimes it's evening, I put the Olaplex and the mask on dry hair. So I don't wet my hair or anything. I literally just put it on dry and brush it through and then put my hair in a little bun on top of my head and either sleep in it or leave it on for at least 20 minutes. So sometimes I'll sit and have dinner and watch a movie or something and then wash it. Or if it's in the morning, like oh, sometimes I sleep in it. Sometimes if it's in the morning, I'll put it on as soon as I get up, have a coffee, get my morning emails done and then wash it out, etc. So that's kind of the gist of like what I do to my hair shower wise um but as you can see it has literally been chucked in a towel for the best part of about an hour now so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i put product wise on it god my throat seems really like <coughs> um yeah so in my drawer i'm gonna go in with a few different things i normally do like two or three different products depending on what i'm doing to my hair um so first off we're going to go in with some leave-in conditioner um this is the red ken one united all-in-one multi-benefit one this is recommended by my hairdresser and i love it um to be honest i probably could get away with eliminating at least one or two of these products because to be honest about two of them are actually just leave-in conditioners but you can never be too safe when your hair's falling out you know got to be protected um then i'm going in with this intensive spray from bondi boost which is basically um spritz directly onto a scalp and massage for best results pair with shampoo blah 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 this is basically a leave-in conditioner containing superstar ingredients quite close to my roots again i'm not like a pro with this i literally just spritz stuff in and mix and match and i have so many products like this is all sprays for my hair or like creams and stuff for like leave-in conditioners so i literally just go wild then we're going to go in with this which is the olaplex bond smoother leave-in reparative styling cream reduces frizz nourishes and protects and if you have seen anything of the online world in the last year or so, you will know that Olaplex has literally taken over and it's such a hero product in and out the salon. So I actually had the shampoo and conditioner before and really, really enjoyed them. I put that down to part of the reason my hair is in such good condition despite a lot of bleach. And the number six, which is the one I'm just putting in, is really, really good for kind of extending the life of the third one. So number one and two of Olaplex you get in the salon, you can't buy them yourself, you have to get them done as salon treatments. Number three is like a leave-in 
um, like bond sealing repairing treatment and it's like protein and moisturizing and stuff that you put on for the shower. Number four and five is the shampoo and conditioner. Number six is that little one I just used. And number seven is a little oil, which I think is in my other drawer. And it's basically an oil that you put on dry hair and it helps to nourish it a little bit. So I can vouch that all of those steps are incredible and I love them. I'm talking a million miles an hour again, aren't I? <laughs> this is one thing I get moaned at a lot about in videos. Like all my comments are normally like, you talk too fast, why do you talk so fast? But guys, I can't help it, I get excited. Anyway, next step is this L'Oreal LV Frizz Killer Serum, which if I am leaving my hair natural, I pump a lot of this in because my hair is hella frizzy and I don't really want to sit and look like the frosty monster, no, sugar puff monster, with this big blonde hair. Um, and then finally, we're gonna go in with Thermal Protection Mist BB Glow from Bumble and Bumble, which is my little heat protector, just in case I decide to do my hair at some point before the next wash because I find it best to put your thermal protect on when your hair is wet because I think then you kind of let it dry into the hair follicles and then I also spritz it on just before I do my hair with any heat tools so it gets kind of a double whammy but it means that my hair is protected before any heat goes on it in the first place um but I'm actually gonna not bother brushing it for right actually no I am gonna brush it let me brush it um I just like it when it's left like this because it goes super, super wavy. I don't know if you can hear, but Sam has currently got the radio on and they're playing um, low. You know the one that's like, apple bottom jeans, boots with the bar. Anyway, on with the editing. <laughs> I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason. Why I should ever let you go mm. I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up But I don't wanna wake up I don't wanna wake up Okay, we've just had some soup and done a little mini workout because I wanna kind of keep active a little bit because I think otherwise I have the ability to just gain loads of weight, to be honest. <laughs> so I thought I would keep active and keep doing at least something. Um, so I'm going to try and do like two at-home workouts a day. So the Chloe Ting abs one, I'll leave link down below, is what I was doing. And then I've also got the Tone and Sculpt one. So I'm going to do leg day later on um, when I can be bothered. I'm trying to like structure my days a bit so that I know that I've got like something to do so I'm not just sat. Um, but right now we have Glee on. Sam's on a Skype call and... I'm gonna sit and do my little cross stitch for a bit because I'm a grandma and that's what I like to do. So I've made myself a cup of tea and I'm just gonna sit down and get on with that for like an hour or two until I get bored. Sam, do you wanna tell the vlog what just happened? Cause I feel like you'll get great pleasure I've out of it. I've been interrogated right <laughs> now. <laughs> no, I'm just giving us some light. Um, so I was in the bar, <laughs> just for setting up like this little sit tube we've got going on. And my job wasn't even here to be fair. So you probably should explain. So, Sam asked me to set up the living room for um, us to have a little movie night. So we've done this, ignore the light for now. Um, we've done this little setup here. So we just bought the little like footstool thing over, bought the duvet, got some popcorn. And basically, I put the microwave popcorn in for three minutes like it said to do. And I didn't check on it like an idiot. Like I was listening for the little pops and I was like, oh, maybe it's like, maybe it's nearly done. Finished, opened the microwave and a whole load of smoke came out like this, which I put on my Instagram stories. But also, it does say on it, do not leave unattended whilst cooking. Like, under three minutes, you must have seen three minutes and then just given up reading. Potentially. But, um, yeah, it, yeah, it was disastrous. So, we've just lost one bag of popcorn. So, RIP to the popcorn. So, we're now on the second bag and there's only like five packs in there. So, we're going to have to be more sparing. No, there's two more in there, isn't there? There's one more. I'm sure there's two more in there. Oh. I'm pretty sure, I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna now sit and watch a movie. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna watch. We want something kind of short and easy and not too, like anything. Um, obviously Disney Plus comes out in a few days. So I think we're gonna save all things Disney till then because obviously then we could just watch it when that comes out and then we could just binge on something else for now. But I'm a bit annoyed with myself. I thought I was doing really well. Oh, and I also made Thai green curry for dinner and put the whole pot of paste in, not half a pot. Well, technically it should have been quarter of a pot because there's only two of us. You just can't follow instructions. 
You just choose not to follow instructions. That's what I should say. Everything smells like smoke. <laughs> Whoopsie. But anyway, let's pick a film. What are you feeling? I don't really know. No, I don't really know either. Oh, hello there, matey. <laughs> Whenever I've had Solomon and Chris, someone would come near me. Um, we are about to head out to the door to go to Tesco's because we want to get some milk. And also we thought we'd just get out the house because obviously we've been cooped up for a while. So we're going to drive around. So we're only in the car. We're not like around anyone else or anything. But it just it just means that we get the house out. Get the house out. Get out the house. Um, I highly doubt that much will occur in terms of purchases. But we'll see. Um, what can I put on? I haven't got dressed in so long, I've forgotten what clothes I have. Um, I mean, it's been five days, Jess, calm down. But let me find something to put on. That will do. I've just chucked on a giant cardigan and basically kept the vest on that I had on earlier, which is from Under the Stories, really, really comfortable, and just put on some jeans and I've got my trainers. But we're going to head out to the shops now. So, adios amigos, we'll see what we can find. Sam can. We are literally just watching everyone come out the shop because we decided not to walk because it is very, very cold and driving's easier. And it's easier, and I don't want to talk to people. And yeah, um, but we've been like watching what people are coming out the shops with to see what they've got in stock. And so far, it's pastries, which I'm actually here for Krispy Kreme donuts, cheese, cheese raspberries, and a bottle of wine. I think it's all something hanging out of someone's bag. So, if I'm honest, all the best things in life. <laughs> So we're going to be fine. We're going to have well, at least we're some kind fine. of something. And we to be fair, we've got milk. enough food at home. We just need milk. Um, and if they've got eggs, I would like some eggs. And some snacks. We've run out of snacks. We've eaten We them. really haven't run out of snacks. But we're now eating because of the sake of it. Well, we're at home for once. Like, actually at home. We're just going to the cupboard out of boredom. Um, but yeah, we'll find something. Got the essentials. And we got the so I can make my parmesan. Mojito, margarita. Martini. <laughs> Why did that go up my head? It's been so long. Just witnessed a woman buy about 20 bottles of wine as well, so priorities are on track. Um, the shop isn't too bad actually, there's still quite a lot here. Here we have today's outfit of the day. So I'm just wearing this little cami from ASOS. ASOS and the stories. It's from Under the Stories. This is from ASOS. They don't actually sell this one anymore, but they have a grey version, so I'll link it down below. And then I've just got some Levi's and these slippers, which are from Emu Australia, and they are the coziest thing ever. They come in so many different colours, um, but I really like these ones. And if you hadn't noticed, I actually own about four different pairs of slippers and they scatter around the house. So these are the ones that are currently under the chest of drawers, which is where we keep the slippers. And I think the other two are upstairs. I don't really know. Maybe there's one down the side of my bed. This there. Ooh, for once there's not. Um, I'm working in the living room today. Sam's working in the office because he's just filming videos and stuff. So I've set up camp here and I'm basically using our side table as a little workbench because it's actually meant to be like a little um, side table that you can pull around the front of the sofa to use it for a, like a laptop table, which is what I'm doing now. And annoyingly, the internet's not working. So for some reason, like YouTube and Netflix just isn't wanting to work. And TV's being really funny as well. Like the guide won't pop up. So I'm trying to get something on that isn't Judge Render at the moment. But I'm not having much luck. So I'm going to be doing the Tone and Sculpt app workout as well as doing the Chloe Ting 30 day. 14 day ab I can't remember what it was called but um it's a 10 minute ab workout which is really really good very very kind of quick like I like workout videos at home where it feels like very quick and very like over and done with rather than feeling like it drags but the tone and sculpt one I normally do the gym workout plan and I've actually found that they do a home workout one as well so downloaded that because it's like no equipment workouts and obviously being stuck in the house all I've actually got is resistance fans and they use things like chairs and other different bits and pieces so I'm going to use the bench because I think the bench is better than the velvet chairs and just use that as like the thing that I do like my um what are they called tricep dips I don't know um but yeah I'm going to do that but this is the app so let me show you so here it says like what's up next and then you get your weekly planner so it plans out what you're doing each day obviously we are now on friday so i'll be doing full body tomorrow is going to be upper body and then body burn which is like a hit workout as well as doing um runs three times a week so i'm going to make sure that i get in a run on like monday wednesday fridays or something so you just click on the one that you want to do and it shows you what you do so obviously skipping i can't do because i don't have a skipping rope 
Um, however, I can do like kneeling and squats, jumping lunges, chair tricep dips, plank rotations. They're all very, very easy. And obviously incline push-ups you can do on a bench. Very, very quick. It gives you three rounds and then a finisher. see how red I am right now but blimmick that was quite the workout Oof. also does anyone else get a massive sense of achievement when you do like a workout up and it comes up with the screen like well done you've done it because that makes me feel like do you know what I have done it and I'm really proud of myself um but now I need to get on and do the abs which is 10 minutes of abs but I really need the toilet first so I'm gonna run down to the toilet then do my 10 minute abs and then I'm done so all in all I think it was about 20 minutes for that, 10 minutes for abs, so half an hour workout, and then obviously if I go out and do cardio three days a week, as I would normally in the gym, then I'm basically keeping my normal workout, just not with weights. So, just means I've got body weight for a little bit, which isn't the end of the world, because at least I'm keeping moving and keeping active, and I feel better having done even just that than I did before, because I think where we're not really moving and we're just sat, it's really easy to just kind of gain weight, and my phone yesterday told me I'd done like 200 steps in the whole day, which is so low. And um, so even every time the doorbell went, I was running up and down three flights of stairs just to try and give myself something to do. But I'm gonna go to the toilet, come back up and smash abs. Nighttime struggle. body hurts I just did the full body and my arms feel like jelly my abs are on fire like I literally was just doing bicycle crunches and thought I was gonna just like flop back because everything just hurts so much but I did it that was the first like full proper workout I've done at home I obviously did the 10 minute abs yesterday but that was like the first proper 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 workout I have now ordered a yoga mat on Amazon because I think carpet is great but you just can't work out on a carpet because you slip all over the place and I think from now on I might do it with trainers and a yoga mat because I think it's just a bit more like easy to do but I'm going to sit downstairs now with Sam I'm going to catch up on the um p.m five o'clock speeches because he's just been watching that because it is currently 10 to well 20 to 6 so I'm gonna catch up on that um have my vitamins and stuff for the day and then I don't really know what we're gonna do tonight to be honest probably the same as every night <laughs> Sam, what's for dinner tonight? We've got spaghetti and meatball. Yummy. That is a long bit of spaghetti. So Sam's just made us meatballs. I think after yesterday's fiasco with the popcorn, that's a very wise decision. And then we also have over here some garlic bread and we're watching Disney vlogs because what else do we ever do, guys? We always watch Disney vlogs. How good does this look? Yummy. Good morning, it's Saturday and I've done my makeup. Um, we woke up this morning and decided to stay in bed because we never stay in bed and just chill and like watch movies and stuff. So we sat in bed, watched a bit of um, Summer Heights uh, Summer Heights High, and then we watched RuPaul's Drag Race because there's new episodes every Saturday, which is actually quite a nice little bit of routine because it means that every Saturday we know that we've got like a one little routine thing of 8 a.m. We watch Drag Race, then we get up. So we've been up since half six. I don't really know how or why, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just stripping the bed. Sam has hurt his back. I'm not sure how, but he's like twinged his lower back. So I said I'd strip the bed and stuff because he can't really lean over. Um, so I thought I'd give you a little time lapse of me stripping the bed. Thrilling content, I know. You can't even see the bed, would help, wouldn't it? Maybe let's put you there.
Okay, slight pause. We actually just stopped to clean a lot of the house. So the bathroom still needs doing, but we're gonna wait till we've both showered and got ready because obviously there's no point cleaning it to then jump in the shower straight after. So, oh my God, I'm burping. <laughs> so we've done everything else. The washing machine is on. You can probably hear it. It literally sounds like it's breaking through the floorboards because it's basically in a cupboard, like right there. Um, and it's really, really loud. But yeah, Sam's done the whole kitchen. I've done all the living room and like the bedroom and wiped all the sides and stuff. We've done the hoovering. You've done upstairs a bit. Basically tag teamed and done the whole flat. I won't, sorry. Thank you, Sam, for cleaning. That's all right. Thank you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I might have something to eat quickly because I'm quite peckish. And then, um, I don't know what to eat, but I want something like small. I don't know. I'm trying not to eat too much of our cupboards because I don't want to like not have any food left. I might have some apple or something. Because we bought apples. That's what I'm gonna have. Oh no, I've got my smoothie. I'm gonna have my smoothie. So basically we had a couple of bananas that were going off. So I made a big smoothie with some of them. So I'm gonna have some of that and then I'm actually gonna put my protein into a reusable like Tupperware thing because they're sat on the shelf and they look a bit gross. So I wanted to count them into the plastic thing so I can just scoop it out of that a bit easier and it looks a bit more aesthetic. Day six in the Copper Grey house. <laughs> I can't even do the voice. I tried to do the Big Brother voice. What was that? It was meant to be Big Brother. It was not Big Brother. <laughs> we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Wait, no, we're on. Right, so technically we've been isolating since like Monday evening. It's technically Tuesday. So yeah, it's day six. And we've decided that after yesterday's like, let's stay in bed and chill and then get ready and like just pot around with our makeup. Well, my makeup done. I left my hair on my head. Sam got dressed and stuff, but. We decided today we're just gonna have a complete, like, no makeup, no hair, no cares given day, and just get on with like some little bits and pieces. And we kind of 90% cleaned the flat yesterday. So I filmed me doing the bed, like stripping the bed. Obviously we remade the bed. I've hoovered all of downstairs. Sam's gonna hoover upstairs. Um, we've cleaned the whole place, cleaned the kitchen, etc. Like it is relatively tidy. Um, we've got the sheets on here, so we just need to get them off and then wash some other bits and pieces. But we decided we're gonna leave the whole like deep, deep clean for another day this week. And then we're gonna do like a deep clean video for you. So we're gonna try and clean the windows, which we've never done. Um, and, well, we haven't done them in a long time. Um, but basically where we're in like a Victorian row of houses to get someone to clean the back windows. So the ones in the living room are fine, but the back windows, so like the bathroom, the bedrooms, you can't really get someone to clean them unless they go into like downstairs as garden. Um, and the attic ones, I've half wiped, you've probably seen in a vlog. They're literally like half cleaned because I can't physically reach. So we're gonna try and give all of the windows a wipe, but basically where they're like sash windows, you have to unscrew them and stuff. It's a bit of a faff. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do all the like really deep, deep cleaning stuff like the oven and everything as well. Sam's just knocking around the alcohol stash. Breakfast. Breakfast wine, oh, thank you. <laughs> I've actually got my wine in a mini cup, comme ça. And also, I'm wearing this new jumper, which I got from ASOS. It's actually gonna be in a loungewear video coming up, but um, actually no, by the time this video goes, well, do you know what? I don't even know what order things are going in anymore, but maybe by the time this video is up, the ASOS loungewear video will be up, so I'll link it if it is. But I'm gonna crack on with editing some videos. All fun and games over here, kids. <laughs> okay, I'm running a bath because I feel really funny today. Like, I don't have the best mental health wise anyway in terms of like my anxiety can be quite bad and I can get really like down moments and stuff and obviously that is why I'm having therapy if you watch the vlogs normally you kind of know that um but oh I've never actually looked out the bedroom window the bedroom window during the day before and the person opposite has a really nice kitchen um but yeah I have just been having a really weird day and I think the whole situation and where it's now been like a week inside is just really kind of getting on top of me and i'm starting to feel really like i think it's kind of a typical feeling that everyone is feeling in terms of like i just feel very stuck and i tend to get really anxious when i feel like i can't change the situation i'm in and i feel like i'm stuck um whether that's like i lost a job or work's not coming in or i have to leave my house and it's not my choice like kind of different various situations like throughout life like uni and stuff if it's a choice that i can't control and I like, I feel stuck, then that's when I get really anxious. So I think it's like a mix of everything at the moment because obviously we're stuck inside for X <laughs> There's now a guy in the kitchen who's probably gonna see me filming myself. <laughs> it's gonna be so awkward. So I'm gonna hold the, I'm gonna hold the curtain underneath the camera. Um, 
but yeah I just I think it's the lack of decision making in the government it's the fear of the unknown because self-employed hasn't really been talked about yet neither has renting really um it's the fact we're stuck inside for so long it's the fact that work is going down like there's so many different factors and I really want to be this positive really happy person and kind of help you guys get through it but I also want to be real and be honest and just kind of let you know that it's not all sunshine and roses for everyone and I think if I just pretended to be this really positive happy person the entire way through this then that's not being a genuine like help um but I'm going to be speaking to my therapist on Skype on Thursday and I'm going to talk to her about like ways to help mental health and stuff through the situation and I'm going to try and share some tips with you guys when I've spoke to her but it's yeah it's a hard situation and i think anyone who gets through this without feeling some sort of anxiety or scaredness fear 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 is the word um then you are you need to write a book about that because <laughs> it is a scary time um but i'm having a bath sam is currently cooking dinner because he's a superstar um i've been playing the sims this afternoon and i'm just gonna get myself in the bath and end this week on a really chilled just a breathe because it's been a tough one and it's just a weird situation so on that note i'm gonna end the vlog and i really hope you liked it i really hope that i helped to lift your spirits and make you feel good about the situation and made you smile in a time when not many of us want to smile so i hope that i helped and i hope you will tune in for all the other videos coming up there has been four videos well five videos this week including last week's vlog so i'll leave them all linked down below for you um i think there's like a couple of hauls and random other vlogs and stuff so i'll leave everything linked and yeah i hope this wasn't like a really negative end i don't know i get really worried that if i like say anything negative online that people just won't want to watch so i just try and keep really 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 positive but that's just not 100 percent real all the time and yeah this is my life and this is real and the sunset's really pretty right now i'm going to turn the camera around in a second and show you but i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i'll see you in the next one please if you can don't forget to like and subscribe and leave comments and stuff because it really really helps especially at a time when everything is very uncertain for influencers and freelancers and all kind of self-employed people because none of us really know what's going on 